my dear brothers and sisters many things which we do in front of jesus we will not do in front of the important vips in the world many the many things we behave in the church many things we behave in front of the blessed sacrament we will never do it in front of the vvips of this world then who is vip for you and me the true vip the true great king who is he if you if you consider god or lord jesus is the king of this universe the most respect and reverence should be given to jesus than anyone else Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, these days we started as from yesterday we started the Bible study on the book of Malachi, and uh, we have reached the first chapter, and uh, we completed until the verse five, and we are going to continue on the sixth verse. We read like this. and we yesterday we spoke the divisions of the book of malachi how it is and yesterday we saw how much god loves the israelites and god showed how much he loves them and also he mentioned that he is not just a god of israel but he is also god of the whole universe he is not only in charge of israel but he is also in charge of other nations he is capable of bringing them back from their land and even he is capable of influencing other nations by doing so god was telling them i am the lord of this universe i am not just a lord of this israel praise the lord now we are going to speak how malachi spoke against the priest because these are there are three points that he always point you know he mentions in the whole of his book that is first one he wants to rebuild the temple he want to rebuild the temple and bring all the tithe to the temple second he want to rebuild the priesthood because the priesthood was defiled third one he wanted to rebuild the family setup therefore he was against mixed marriages and also against divorce he want to rebuild the families so these three point is and the whole book of malachi is centered around these three points now in this verse 6 malachi the prophet is speaking against the priest because their priesthood was defiled why how it is written there let's read a son honors his father and servants their master if then i am your father where is the honor due me and if i am a master where is the respect due me says the lord of hosts to you or priest who despise my name so prophet is speaking to them god was speaking through the prophet against the priest because there was a time in israel the priest who was so defiled they adulterate the word of god they did not preach the word of god properly they were compromising everywhere just like today that happens in the church many many places where priests are compromising the preaching priests are compromising the word of god not telling the people what is right and wrong they are busy cracking jokes and trying to please the human beings but forget to teach the right and wrong the truth is hidden truth is avoided ignored because priests are also afraid of the Uh, the reaction of the people they just want to be in the good book of everyone this exactly what happened some years ago in israel and there were thank god there were prophets who came forward and spoke against the priest and said what you are doing is wrong you are despising the name of god and he says i am your father where is the respect for me i am your master where is the honor due to me you respect all the fathers you respect all the masters you respect all the uh, political leaders influential people you respect and honor the celebrities you respect and honor the officials and government officials you respect everyone but i am your father and i am your master where is the respect for me that is this what the lord is asking you and me my dear brothers and sisters we forgot the respect and reverence even in the holy masses 
even in the churches and in front of the blessed sacraments when we deal with the holy things we have lost the respect and honor the lord says by doing so you have despised my name the lord say and then people say you know the whole book of malachi is like a question answer session question answer now god is answering and then the people are asking what did people ask you say how are we despised your name all the priests said how are we despised your name then the lord answers verse seven by offering polluted food on my altar and you say how are we polluted it the lord says by offering polluted food on my altar the lord said the people said how are we the priest said how are we despised your name then the lord said because you are offering polluted food on my altar then the priest said how are we polluted it that means the priests were not even aware that they are doing something evil so what does it mean that is possible even today the priests may not be even aware that what they are doing on the altar is not correct they think it's the perfect thing and they go on doing it without even knowing that they are polluting the altar then the lord then the lord then the people said how have we polluted it then the lord said by thinking that the lord's table may be despised by thinking that the lord's table may be despised you are polluting my altar what does it mean you are taking the lord's table lightly you are taking the holy eucharist lightly you are taking the sacraments lightly you are taking the holy confession lightly you are taking the preaching lightly you are taking the word of god lightly you are taking the people of god lightly you are taking everything for granted by doing so you are despising my name you are polluting my altar my dear brothers and sisters this is same thing is happening even today my dear friends because knowingly or unknowingly we it has become a routine and mechanical in our in our parishes in our families in our retreat centers in our personal life in our homes everywhere everything becomes routine mechanical just for the routine sake we have family prayer just for the routine sake we say hail mary holy mary mother of and we go on praying let's just for the routine sake we go for holy mass and stand here and there look here and there and somehow manage to get the holy bread and escape just for the sake of routine for only for the obligation sake and we don't even realize that what we are doing is polluting the altar and despising the name of god sin against the second commandment the lord says you are polluted the altar by thinking that the lord's table may be despised it's okay you can you can break all the laws of the bible we can break the all the commandments of god we don't don't worry but don't break the commandments of the government police will catch you so these we are only concerned about the law of the government but we are not concerned about the god law of god we break it because we know that god doesn't have police one day we'll have to give an answer my dear brothers and sisters and verse 8 we read when you offer blind animals in sacrifice bible says so god is correcting the priest and also correcting the attitude of the people attitude of the offering the celebrant so what is the attitude you know it's not about how to celebrate ma- just finish the holy mass and escape many people op- sunday mass is an obligation so everybody goes for sunday mass some people out of love for jesus they may go for daily mass but your attitude is very important when you offer blind animals in sacrifice is that not wrong and when you offer those who are lame or sick is that not wrong try presenting that you are go- you to your governor will will be pleased with you or show you favor says the lord of us the lord says the way you are celebrating is not correct yes you are coming for sacrifice well and good yes you are offering animal sacrifice burnt offering or you are offering the the lamb and all these animals well and good but the attitude is not good why you are bringing the worst to one 
you look at your herd the flock of sheep and select the worst one out of it in fact according to jewish jewish understanding mosaic law the law is that the best one should be given to god the unblemished lamb should be sacrificed unblemished lamb should be given to god that is the commandment but here now everything become monotonous and routine we are giving the worst one last one least one to god waste to one useless one one day one mother was introducing her children and she was saying this is my first child he is very good he is very good and he is very studious very good in uh, singing was speaking and uh, was studies and very good and he is going to become a doctor and the second one she showed and said she is very good and she is very brilliant intelligent she is the first in the class and then she is going to become an somebody special some pilot or something and then the third one she showed and she was so disappointed to introduce him and said he is good for nothing he doesn't study he is always naughty father you take him to the seminary so this is our attitude the worst one waste one even the not a currency that we feel is broken or give it to the church my dear brothers and sisters sometimes the attitude with which we come for mass just because one drizzling there is rain a small drizzling oh today is raining i'm not going for mass small water can stop you from going for mass some drops of water can stop you just imagine how much we are connected to god the lord says your attitude with which you come for mass is not good you are trying to find an excuse to not to go for mass and just because the church has said it is an obligation we go for mass just to feel good not to feel guilty we escape and we just go for mass and when we go for mass we just stand there watching a cricket like a match or a, 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 some programs in the tv and any time is suppose if the preacher and the priest is extending the holy mass or maybe this preaching for 5 minutes we we'll just look at the watch 10 or 20 times and make sure that priest lists watches this that you are looking at the watch my dear brothers and sisters the lord says what kind of attitude that we have when you offer blind animals in sacrifice is that not wrong are you giving the best of your time to jesus are you giving the best of your ability and talents to jesus when you offer those that are lame or sick is that not wrong can you do the same thing in front of the prime minister you are going to visit your governor or prime minister and you are giving the worst gift and you brought a flower vase which is all dried and giving it honorary offering it in front of the governor and say you are most welcome he will chase you out and we will never do it in front of our chief ministers or prime ministers or presidents and we will be the best and we are ready to wait for hours to just to see and meet and es- explain our problems we are ready to wait on- outside the government offices for hours just to get our things done but at the same time for our healing and blessing we are not even ready to go and stand for holy mass and listen to the word of god for extra 5 minutes we get impatient and we look at the watch 100 times the lord says the attitude is not good or priest or people of god the attitude with which you come to celebrate the holy mass is not acceptable says the lord of hosts praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters all whatever that i'm preaching it may not be so pleasing to your ears but god is pleased let's nine was read was nine or that someone among you would shut the temple doors now the now the prophet is praying is better that the church doors are closed because if these people are coming inside and wasting their time and offering un and polluted food on the altar better they don't even come from us better that the church has been closed no wonder the churches are being closed in many countries the churches are being closed i believe god himself is closing down the churches 
is not that our god is powerless and therefore someone else is buying the churches and closing it down no god himself is closing it down it is better they don't come to the church and offer the un- unpolluted food and commit more sins anyway they are busy committing sins outside why should they commit sins inside the church therefore god is closing down the churches praise the lord thank you jesus so we read in 9 uh, malachi chapter 1 verse 9 and now implore the favor of god that the that he may be gracious to us so the lord says so cry for the mercy of god the fault is yours the lord is the priest the the prophet is speaking the voice of god the prophet is speaking on behalf of god and say the fault is yours fault is mine my dear brothers and sisters god is telling me a priest the fault is yours will he show favor to any of you says the lord of hosts because you are polluting the altar you are defiling the altar your attitude for the holy mass is not correct the lord is speaking to me and you and was 9 we read the mass 10 we read like this oh that someone among you would shut the temple doors so that you would not kindle fire on my altar in vain many holy masses are vain many sacrifices that do in the churches are vain and waste and i pray someone please go and shut the door so that nobody should come inside the church and offer the holy mass in vain i have no pleasure in you says the lord of hosts and i will not accept an offering from your hands my dear brothers and sisters these are very very strong messages because these jewish people they just came back from the from the the exile babylon in exile and they built the jerusalem temple in a small scale way and they started the worship again but since they have no connection with god a proper connection because the elders are all died and the new people and only a small number of people have come back to jerusalem and then priests are making money from the offerings and celebrations so the priest would priest would become a business they are only just doing the duty and somehow offering something and get the money and the the fat of the animal and busy eating and enjoying and the people are just busy bringing the worst animals for offering everything is polluted and defiled priest to this polluted holy altar is polluted and the marriage is polluted and therefore the prophet is speaking so harshly if we find rude it if it is rude if you find it is rude complain to god because he himself is speaking to us that someone among you would shut the pen temple doors so that you would not kindle fire on my altar in vain i have no pleasure in you says the lord of hosts and will not accept an offering from your hands the attitude is very important my dear brothers and sisters verse 11 can you read verse 11 praise the lord this word of god is very important now it's a prophecy now malachi the prophet malachi is prophesying about what is going to happen in the future it's that is why this malachi the prophet malachi is also known as the prophet of the eucharist because he is prophesying about the eucharist let's read for from the rising of the sun to its setting my name is great among the nations and in every place incense is offered to my name and a pure offering for my name is great among the nations says the lord of hosts the catholic church teaches and believes that this word of god is about the holy eucharistic celebration taking place from the rising of the sun to its setting in different nations all over the world every day where the incense is offered and the pure offering what is the pure offering jesus is the unblemished lamb who sacrificed himself on the altar therefore the most pure offering is the holy eucharist that is taking place from the rising of the sun to the setting everywhere every part of the world in the whole continents the whole universe the holy mass is offered and that is what is for, promised here prophesies the prophet is prophesying about what is going to happen in the future because 
he is seeing the worst celebration of the offerings and sacrifices and he criticizing all the priest and all the offerings and now he is promising about the future what is going to happen in the future and he says from the rising of the sun to its setting my name is great among the nations and in every place incense is offered to my name and pure offering for my name is great among the nations says the lord of hosts just because of one sentence he said the church calls malachi that he is the prophet of holy eucharist praise the lord was 12 let's read we read like this was 12 praise the lord but you profane it when you say that the lord's table is polluted and the food for it may be despised but we profile these holy things and he's speaking against the priest the priests are the ones who are polluting the altar because of the attitude with which they cel celebrate mass many priests this is the same thing happens in our in the priesthood even today our attitude is changed the best should be given that is not honored the perfect way should be celebrated that is not honored god should be honored in everywhere and every time is not honored and everything becomes a business monotony monotonous routine mechanical the lord is so upset and angry with this and he is speaking through the prophet and verse 13 we read like this verse 13 let's read verse 13 we read what weariness this is this you say and you sniff at me says the lord of hosts you bring what has been taken by violence or is lame or sick and this you bring us your offering shall i accept that from your hand says the lord the lord says to the priest and also pit to the people you are bringing all these things by violence violently taking it forcefully taking the offering from the people forcefully shall i accept that from your hand the lord is asking you and me my dear brothers and sisters anything that you are forced if you are forced to come for holy mass that is not acceptable their attitude is not good if you are forced by your parents you are forced by your friends forced by your life partner and you are just coming for the sake of coming it is not acceptable that's not a prayer if you are forced by the church because it's an obligation therefore you are forced to come it's a waste of time you are forced because your priest forced you is a waste that prayer is waste you are sitting in front of the blessed sacrament because everyone sits and you are forced to sit is useless is it coming from your heart or is it coming from outside anything that comes from outside doesn't go heaven but anything that comes from inside is like a incense it goes to heaven and will reach heaven and will bring the answer Let's read verse 14. We read like this. Cursed. Now he's cursing. Cursing all the unfaithful celebrants. Cursed be the cheat who has a male in the flock and vows to give it and yet sacrifice to the Lord what is un what is blemished for I am a great king says the Lord of hosts and my name is reverenced among the nations. This is a very powerful word of God my dear brothers and sisters. God says cursed is the person who cheat me how you have a male lamb unblemished in the flock but you are off and you promise to god that you will offer it but you are offering a blemished lamb useless lamb and you are trying to do your obligation okay i offered my lamb the lord says will you do the same thing to the king i am a great king how dare you do these things to me when you don't do it to the human beings my name is reverenced among the nations my dear brothers and sisters many things which we do in front of jesus we will not do in front of the important vips in the world many the many things we behave in the church many things we behave in front of the blessed sacrament we will never do it in front of the vvips of this world then who is vip for you and me 
the true vip the true great king who is he if you if you consider god or lord jesus is the king of this universe the most respect and reverence should be given to jesus than anyone else praise the lord thank you jesus my dear brothers and sisters with this 14 was 14 we complete this first chapter the rest of the chapters we will continue reflecting these coming days let's close our eyes and pray and promise to jesus jesus we were doing the holy masses every day but we don't know whether this is polluted or not help us to examine our conscience and see the attitude with which we come for mass are we forced to come for mass are we just waiting to finish the holy mass and escape are we doing it as a routine mechanical for the sake of doing it help us we want to do the holy mass celebrate holy mass meaningfully do not do not allow us to take the holy mass for granted forgive us right now let's sing together the offertory hymn